Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. And even Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, one game on the slate, Saturday, May 25th. Celtics at the Pacers. Pacers first, uh, first game home. And Halliburton is out. Just ruled out 30 minutes ago. Very mad with myself. Uh, I had a big feeling he wasn't going to play and I was going to take Neesmith. Uh, not Neesmith. Uh, Nemhard on his assist and a couple other plays, which I should have did, but uh, I didn't like a fool. And now they all got bumped up like two points. But uh, it is what it is. Celtics started out at minus six, paces plus six. They're at uh, minus seven and a half. I'm sure that number's going to go up. Let me refresh. Might have went up already. Uh, still the same. But, uh, I mean, hey, sometimes a, a main player goes out and the team all steps up. And they pull off a victory, uh, the energy and, uh, you know, all that motivation and everything to do better. Seen it happen in hiking numerous times. It has happened in basketball. But, uh, yeah, so the over-under started at 222.5. Stayed the same. Uh, Celtics are the favorite, big favorites. They're up to minus 310 right now. Paces as a dog up to plus 210. But, uh, yeah, I'm leaning. I mean, it's probably going to go under and uh, probably blow out potential. And, obviously, the Celtics, you could probably take them with the minus six. But, uh, yeah, I got some player props. Let's get into them. All right, for this first play, I'm going Holiday over one and a half first quarter assists. They brought it down to plus 130. Uh, you got to look around to find it right now. He uh, had a reported illness. He might not play. I placed these bets last night. So, um, yeah, the last five games, he's gone over this. The last two versus the Pacers, he's gone over this with three. And um, home or away, he's been going over it. So, yeah, if he plays, I believe he should go over it. We got Holiday, first quarter assist. All right, play number two, going Horford under uh, PRA, 20 and a half. Um, they opened his number at 19 and a half, then it went up to 20, then it went down, up, down. Last, what do I got this at, 10 games? He's gone over this twice, recently being the first game versus the Pacers, but he barely went over it. Um, you know, I'm not expecting him to go over it. If he does, he does. If he lives, he dies, he dies. But, uh... Yeah, so we'll give it a shot on the 20 and a half. Like I said, low of averages, showing that he ain't going to hit it. Head to head, he's gone under this 78%. Uh, it's probably going to be a blowout. Might not be, but it's not like Halliburton's been bringing that much anyway. And, and uh, McConnell and Nemhard or whoever else they're going to fill in for him might actually do better, but who knows. All right, so we got Horford under 20 and a half. PR. Eric White over two and a half three pointers, minus one forty on DraftKings. Ah, uh, FanDuel. All the way up to one fifty, one eighty, one ninety five on Caesars. So definitely line shop. Uh, even though he hasn't been shooting that well, he's still getting his. He's starting to get his points again, but. 
You know, he's gone over the 7 out of 10. Last three games, he's hitting four, four twice, three once. Uh, he could go off today. You know, I just didn't want to play his points and stuff because even when he's not scoring as much, he's still hitting this good shot. Uh, we've been playing his steals and blocks. But like I said, they bumped it or or they, they added more juice. It's like minus 170 right now for one and a half. So got to fade it. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good way to play him if you're going to play him. Derek White over two and a half threes. I forgot. I've also played uh, – Derek's white first quarter assist over one and a half. I got it at like plus 160 last night. They got it at plus 143. But uh, he's gone over this last two games, three and three. Before that, not really. But uh, as well as if Holiday is out today because of that illness, White's also a point guard. So uh, he should go over this anyway, a little, little added uh you know, time playing, running the points. So it's his job to give people assists. So yeah, I had him on over two and a half threes, and I threw this in last night. Uh, first quarter assist over one and a half. All right, now for these paces. Uh, before I get into that, if you could like the video for these new viewers, please subscribe, turn them notifications on. Uh, you get my videos instantly when I drop them, as well as I drop a lot of live bets in the community. So they get sent out to you real quick, and you need to get them and get your bets in quick before the lines change. Uh, if you could, leave a comment. We've been doing real well, so uh, let me know how you've been doing, as well as uh, what team you got, uh, how you like the channel, if there's any feedback, anything I should change, anything, though. No. The comments and the likes help get the videos out there on the main page when people search for things, as well as that'll bring in more subscribers and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, to get into this video, we got uh, Nemhart first quarter points over two and a half. We've been playing this. He's been hitting it. Uh, hit it last game. He had five, especially now with Halliburton out. Should easily go over this anyway. Got it at like plus 125. They got it on Caesars right now. Um, I'm sure if you look on DraftKings, they'll have it. But uh, yeah, so Nemhart over two and a half first quarter points. And we also played, I'm going to jump right into it now that I remember. I was anticipating Halliburton to be out. I forgot that I made this play until now. Uh, so I played his PRA. I've been playing his assist at four and a half. They had it at three and a half for a while, went up. And then uh, yesterday was at five and a half, and I just wasn't comfortable. I didn't know if Halliburton was going to play. And I decided to go this route. I remember now. I said I was mad in the beginning of the video, but I'm not mad anymore. Uh, over 23 and a half plus 140. Um, I don't know if I played it at 23 and a half. That might be what it's at now. I might have jumped up. But, yeah, he's been doing really well. He's been scoring well. He's been, uh, I played it at 20 and a half. See? Minus 122, I played it at 20 and a half. So they bumped it up once Halliburton, uh, Got, got hurt. So if you can all line it back, uh, do that. But yeah, uh, sorry to get this video out late. I got to start getting these out at night. But uh, yeah, so we played him over first quarter points. And then we played him PRA over 20 and a half. Uh, 23 and a half, he might do it, but all line it back. To whatever. All right, so we got Miles Turner. Three point is over one and a half. Minus one thirty DraftKings. I think I got it for a little less. All the way up to one forty, one fifty five, one seventy. It's line shot, line shot, line shot. Played him last game, he went over this. Uh two games versus Boston, he's gone over this. 
7 out of 10. Uh, hit Ray, he's been shooting pretty well. Horford can't keep up with him. He pulls him out to the three-point line. Uh, he's a good three-point shooter. He killed the Knicks with it, too. Uh, he's exceeded one and a half threes in eight of his last ten games, averaging almost three. He hit this on 24 minutes last game. Uh, Pacers need this. They're home. They're going to have the crowd behind them. He should go over this. Turner, one and a half threes. All right, for the last play, we got Toppin. We'll be Toppin. Points over nine and a half. Uh, 115, minus 115. FanDuel. I think I got it on DraftKings. That's why I might say that. But uh, head to head, 100%. Last five, 60%. We cashed them last game. We've been playing this often. Uh, been cashing it for a while. You know. Comes off the bench, energy. Sometimes I've had a couple threes, but uh, he's shooting 60% from the field the last 10 games, 40% from three, almost 80% from uh, the foul line. So, yeah, and they're coming home without Halliburton. They're going to need him and everyone else to step up. It's kind of been easy money with this. So, yeah, we're going to continue to play it. Anything under 10. I'm playing it. I'll be topping over nine and a half points. Like I said, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. When I reach a uh, five hundred subscribers, I'm gonna have a hundred dollar giveaway. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, all that. One hand washes the other, two hands wash the face. Ace money, the name, getting paper to gain. We've been doing really well the last couple of days too. Uh. Now, yesterday, the day before, we, we got one wrong out of, like, nine. And then yesterday, we got three wrong. Two of them were uh, McDaniels, which he really, we had him first quarter over two and a half points. He didn't have two and a half points the whole game. And then I played him. I bumped his number up to 15 points, and he didn't hit it, obviously. But uh, I did something I normally don't do either. I parlayed all my picks. In FanDuel, they had it already there, so I just did it. Little five dollar bet. Every other bet cashed except for that one. It would have been like four hundred dollars off of five, but uh, yeah, it had me kind of depressed. That's why I don't really like doing parlays. I do them occasionally because you know they're fun, but uh, it's definitely not a sustainable way to make money. At least not for me. You know, to each his own. But uh, they're fun to do. I'll put them out there. All right, ace money in the name, getting paper them. Down.